Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a quick look at the JP Logistics slash WBSIM 152 mod. But more importantly, we're going to talk about where you can now download any new updates for the mod. Hint, it's not flightsim.to. Coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, we're first going to go over all the different variants that the new JP Logistics mod has to offer. Once we're through with that, we'll jump into the sim and take a look at all the cool eye candy that is available on the exterior of the aircraft. Then we'll jump inside, take a look at the different navigation configurations and some other options on the in cockpit tablet. Once we finish up with that, we'll then go over where you can download the mod from because it is no longer available on flightsim.to. If you enjoy today's content, be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. As you can see, we have a couple different variants of the JP Logistics Mod 152. We have the no fairing version, the fairing version, we also have a tail dragger. Over here on the right, this is the default Cessna 152, so that's not part of the mod. So without any further ado, let me show you its features. All right, guys, take a look at some of the eye candy that is on this mod. This thing looks fantastic. Wow. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let's hop inside now and take a look at some of the avionics packages. Once you're in the cockpit, the first thing that we need to do is go and grab our tablet, which is right down here in the center. Once that's open over here on the left hand side of the tablet, we have a bunch of different options for instruments, maintenance, settings, and some features on the exterior. On the right hand side, we can adjust our payload, fuel, and it will give us all of our weights down here below. We can even have the plane set up in cold and dark or ready for flight. And if you haven't hit this one, go ahead and try it because uh, I think it's pretty funny. Over here on the left hand side, we have a couple different options for instruments. As you can see, we have the bare bones set up inside of our Cessna with our basic nav radios and our transponder. If we tick on the autopilot, that is going to enable the cap 140 that will populate down below our transponder. We also have the option to swap out the antiquated radios and turn on the GTN 750. It would have been nice to have seen the GNS 530 as well, but maybe somebody will see this video and add that in the future. So if we go ahead and turn this on, you will see a couple things change here. The other thing to note here, if you would like to use the GTN 750 option, you will need to purchase that mod. I'm not sure if they offer a free version or not. Let me know down below in the comments if you know. Underneath of that, you will see that we have several options now that have been grayed out. The reason for that is all of these features are now inside of the GTN 750. At the very bottom, we have our show EGT gauge. And I really like this feature for those of us who like to set optimal power settings while we're at cruise. When we turn the EGT on, you'll see that gauge populate right here in the center in place of the clock, I believe that. Yep, place of the clock. Below the GTN 750 is our DME. If we go ahead and turn that on, look over here to the right hand side or the co-pilot side, and you will see that populate over here. Below the DME is the ADF. So if we tick that, look back over here to the right hand side, and the ADF will populate down here. Below that is the transponder, and if we tick on that, we have a more modernized transponder, the GTX 330, that will populate here for us to use. All of which are some nice. very, very welcome features to the Cessna 152. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the maintenance tab. In the maintenance tab, we can change our battery out. Say if we sit here too long with the battery on, it will die out on us. So we can change the battery, we can fill the oil, Below that we have the engine health and here's where we can rebuild the engine if for some reason you do something you weren't supposed to do. Now that leads us into the next category which is the settings. So we have state saving at the top and this will make it persistent or state saving so however you left the aircraft is how it's going to be when you spawn back in the next time. Below that is the realism tab. And here is where if you turn this on you can do some major damage to the engine of this thing. If you hot start it or if you do something crazy, it will uh, catch on fire and smoke. It's pretty amazing that they added all of those visual effects on this. Below that, we can show the pilot, the co-pilot. Well, turn that back off. 
And at the very bottom, here's all of the exterior eye candy that we can turn off right there. The other neat thing about the tablet, if you tick down here on the lower right hand corner, it will change the backdrop for you on the display. I think that's just a cool little added feature. The other thing to know about this aircraft is all of these circuit breakers actually function. So if you pop a breaker, it will turn off the respective system. So keep that in mind, if something's not working, check your breakers. Now for the moment everybody's been waiting for, you wanna hear what this thing sounds like when we fire it up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn the volume up here for you. Listen to that engine, sounds amazing. They have done some awesome work with the sounds on this aircraft. Inside the aircraft sounds completely different. So let's go ahead and shut the doors and we should be able to hear a sound change once we shut all the doors and windows. Hats off to the developers here. You have done a fantastic job on this aircraft. So now let's move into where can you find the download for this mod. To find the new WBSIM slash JP Logistics 152 mod is now going to be located on their Discord channel. Until they find another avenue that they can place their mod, they will be posting all of the updates right here on the official download section. Link for their Discord will be down below in the description, so be sure to check it out. All right, that's going to finish us up for today. Thanks for joining us. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section, and I'll get right back to you. If you enjoy today's content, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.